Hello everyone, uh, today's video is going to be super short, unfortunately it's not about carpentry but it is about tools that we use for carpentry. Um, I'm talking about this uh, Festool extractor unit, it's the CTL MIDI, it's the one that has got the Bluetooth capability and I haven't got any Bluetooth tools so I've just got the remote that either goes on the end of the hose which is obviously next to the tool that you're using or it's got these nice little rubber bands and I sometimes actually uh, strap it to near the handle of whatever tool I'm using and it's right where my finger is. So, you know, it works really well. You just press it and on and then off. So you can fit the Bluetooth, this remote uh, works straight with that machine because that's a 2019 machine, but the earlier ones, again, I'm not 100% sure on all of the I'm not familiar with all of the Festool models, but you can buy the module that goes into the control panel and then the Bluetooth button works with that. But there is machines that you can't do that to. I've kind of done this for a pal who's got an earlier one of these and it hasn't got the remote control. And what I noticed was every time he went to make a cut, he had to quickly sort of dive around from where he's, he was going to cut. He had to dive around to the extractor and turn it on and obviously with the remote control that's much easier so all these machines have this uh, accessory port which is what you plug your power tool into it's voltage sensing so when the voltage drops it starts the extractor up and when the voltage is cut it then overruns a little bit so what i've done i had a little squint about and i bought one of these really cheap uh, remote 240 volt remote controls off ebay i think it was about eight pounds and I've wired it into a really simple circuit. It's a bit messy at the minute, and I sort of try and tidy it up and put it in a bit more of a present, presentable package. But basically what it does is it switches through onto a 35 watt light bulb and obviously makes the extractor start. So here, here's this remote. I just press any, I've got it set and so it's any buttons on, any buttons off. So I just press one of those buttons. And you probably see a light went on behind me. And obviously the voltage draw has caused the extractor to start. And now, Pressed it again and there it overran slightly. So, you know, this could be um, a good solution for somebody who is fed up of walking around to the extractor every time to turn it on. This could probably be Velcroed to the end of the extractor hose or Velcroed onto a machine. Right, so I've done a bit of messing around and what I've managed to do is make it a bit, condense it down and make it a bit neat and tidier. Um, I've got a standard three pin plug top here in the UK. I've got this little sort of box, uh, circuit box thing that I had, which the switch fits really nicely inside. This is just a GU10 240 volt uh, down lighter lamp fitting. So I've pretty much just wired that in there. It's super neat and tidy. Um, so I'll just screw that plate, uh, the cover on top of the box and stick the bulb in and we'll put it into the extractor in. See if it works. Right, that's in. Here we go. Moment of truth. Yeah. Superb. Excellent. So that's done. It's really, I don't actually need this. Um, it was just the concept really that I was playing with. And I'm sure that somebody could easily take this concept and make it work perhaps more effectively without having to use a light bulb. You can get dummy load resistors that simulate an electrical current. And you know maybe there's one of those that would fit inside this box as well. So you wouldn't have this on the side because I certainly although this will work and it, it works perfectly as I as I showed you uh, you know on and off it, it works perfectly I mean you could say that you've got a little indicator light so that you know that the switch is working but I suspect on site this uh, bulb hanging out here would probably not be the best idea at all but there we go the extractor that had a, a power takeoff you know, you could basically make it 
work completely remotely for very little money. And more and more and more now we all we've all got cordless gear and unless you're running the, the Festool battery platform which connects to the Bluetooth of the newer Festools, um, you know, you're gonna have to find some way of switching on if you're using cordless gear. So you know this this concept will be uh, good for that. What I will say is that if you are going to do something like this, you know, uh, do all your own research and, you know, you do it at your own risk. Thanks for watching. And I'd just like to say thank you to everybody that subscribed to my channel. It's only been going a couple of months and it's lovely that people uh, find what I'm doing interesting enough to hit the subscribe button. It's lovely to connect with people uh, from, from all over this country and, and other countries around the world. So thank you ever so much for that and I'll be doing more videos of all the different aspects of carpentry here in the UK. Thank you.